Scroll staff share tweet email Reddit print share tweet email Reddit print international news by scroll staff Joshua Roberts Reuters United States President Donald Trump on Friday claimed that the Time magazine had called him to say that he was probably going to be named their person of the year, but he had turned them down saying that probably is no good. Time magazine called to say that I was probably going to be named man person of the year, like last year, but I would have to agree to an interview and a major photo shoot. I said probably is no good and took a pass. Thanks anyway, Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump November 24, 2017 The magazine responded saying that Trump was mistaken and that the person chosen for the award will be revealed on December 6. The president is incorrect about how we choose person of the year. Time does not comment on our choice until publication, which is December 6, time at time November 25, 2017 The U.S. President, who was given the honor in 2016 after his surprising election victory over Democratic Party candidate Hillary Clinton, has had a difficult relationship with the magazine. In June, Time had asked the Trump Organization to remove framed copies of a fake cover featuring Donald Trump, which were displayed in at least five of the president's golf clubs. Dated March 1, 2009, it featured Trump in the headline Donald Trump The Apprentice is a television smash We welcome your comments at letters at scroll.in. Donald Trump United States Person of the Year Sponsored content by published October 30, 2017 03.34 p.m. Share tweet email Reddit print Share tweet email Reddit print The cultural similarities between Germany and India are well known, especially with regards to the language. Linguists believe that Sanskrit and German share the same endogermanic heritage of languages. A quick comparison indeed holds up theory Ratha in Sanskrit chariot is rad in German, Aksha Axel in Sanskrit is A-C-H-S-E in German, and so on. Germans have long held a fascination for Indology in Sanskrit. While Max Muller is still admired for his translation of ancient Indian scriptures, other German intellectuals such as Goethe, Herder and Schlegel were deeply influenced by Kalidasa. His poetry is said to have informed Goethe's plays, and inspired Schlegel to eventually introduce formal Indology in Germany. Beyond the arts and academia, Indian influences even found their way into German fast food Indians would recognize the famous German curry powder as a modification of the Indian masala mix. Its most popular application is the currywurst fried sausage covered in curried ketchup. It is no wonder then that German travelers in India find a quite a lot in common between the two cultures, even today. Some, especially those who've settled here, even confess to Indian culture growing on them, with time. Isabel, like most travelers, first came to India to explore the country's rich heritage. She returned the following year as an exchange student, and a couple of years later found herself working for an Indian consultancy firm. When asked what prompted her to stay on, Isabel said, I love the market dynamics here, working here is so much fun. Anywhere else would seem boring compared to India. Having co-founded a company, she eventually realized her entrepreneurial dream here and now resides in Goa with her husband. Isabel says there are several aspects of life in India that remind her of home. How we interact with our everyday life is similar in both Germany and India. Separate house slippers to wear at home, the celebration of food and festivals, the importance of friendship. She feels Germany and India share the same spirit especially in terms of festivities. We love food and we love celebrating food. There is an entire countdown to Christmas. Every day there is some dinner or get-together, much like how Indians excitedly count down to Navratri or Diwali. Francisca, who was born in India to German parents, adds that both the countries exhibit the same kind of passion for their favorite sport. In India, they support cricket like anything while in Germany it would be football. Having lived in India for almost a decade, Isabel has also noticed some broad similarities in the way children are brought up in the two countries. We have a saying in South Germany, Schaaf Schaaf Hauselbo, that loosely translates to work, work, work and build a house. I found that parents here have a similar outlook to teach their children to work hard. They feel that they've fulfilled their duty only once the children have moved out or gotten married. Also, my mother never let me leave the house without a big breakfast. It's the same here. The importance given to the care of the family is one similarity that came up again and again in conversations with all German expats. 
While most people wouldn't draw parallels between German and Indian discipline or lack thereof, Germans married to Indians have found a way to bridge the gap. Take for example, Ilka, who thinks that the famed differences of discipline between the two cultures actually works to her marital advantage. She sees the difference as Germans being highly planning-oriented while Indians are more flexible in their approach. Ilka and her husband balance each other out in several ways. She says, like most Germans, she too tends to get stressed when her plans don't work out, but her husband calms her down. Consequently, Ilka feels India is so of life. The social life here is more happening. People smile at you, bond over food and are much more relaxed. Isabel, too, can attest to Indians' friendliness. When asked about an Indian characteristic that makes her feel most at home, she quickly answers humor. Whether it's a taxi driver or someone I'm meeting professionally, I've learned that it's easy to lighten the mood here by just cracking a few jokes. Indians love to laugh, she adds. Indeed, these Germans who never left as just hard indefiles are more Indian than you'd guess at first, having even developed some classic Indian skills with time. Ilka assures us that her husband can't bargain as well as she does, and that she can even drape a sari on her own. Isabel, meanwhile, feels some amount of Indianess has seeped into her because whenever it's raining, my body instantly craves chai and samosa, like the long-settled German expats in India. The German airline, Lufthansa, too has incorporated some quintessential aspects of Indian culture in its service. Recognizing the centuries-old cultural affinity between the two countries, Lufthansa now provides a rich experience of Indian hospitality to all flyers on board its flights to and from India. You can expect a greeting of Namaste by an Al Indian crew, Indian food, and popular Indian in flight entertainment options. And as the video shows, India's culture and hospitality have been internalized by Lufthansa to the extent that they are more Indian than you think. To experience Lufthansa's hospitality on your next trip abroad, click here. This article was provided by the Scroll Marketing team on behalf of Lufthansa as part of their More Indian Than You Think initiative and not by the Scroll editorial team.